What is up? What is going on, everybody? I am back with the Mariners post game. Just doing a real quick video because I want to talk about this game a little bit. Um, uh, Mariners win it eight to three. If you're new here, hit that like and hit that subscribe button for me. Um, my views are going way up on these, so I truly appreciate it. I apologize for nothing in the background. I'm getting new office here, so my stuff will be up soon for you guys. So it's not just going to be a weird blank looking background. Um, like I said, I'm getting some more views on these. Getting about 20, 25% of the views are from unsubscribe. So you guys can hit that sub button. I'm closing in on 1,500 subs. Truly, truly appreciate it. If you missed it, go watch the live stream that me and Rooftop did for the game. Check it on his channel. Check it on mine, whichever one you want to do. Make sure you're always sub to him as well as myself. Um, and we did the play-by-play -play for this game. We did a little post-game recap. I just want to talk about this game a little bit. It was a real nice win for the Mariners, 8-3 to three over the Rays. Nice bounce back after kind of just whatever yesterday was. And then the Wednesday game as well, which was super frustrating. Um, so good to see the team get back on track. They're 39-42. They still remain just five games back for the wild card. So, you know, they're, they're in it. They are in it. Um, I will say this before I dive into anything. I, I'm, I can't get too excited right now until this team strings together a few wins. I can't get overly enthused. It was a great win. Felt good. It always feels good to see your team win, no matter what, whether they're 32 and five or 21 and 54. It feels good to watch your team win. Life is too short not to be happy about that. But um, they've got to string some wins together. They have to do it. They've got to get four or five in a row here. If anything, just to get me back feeling good about this team, I still don't feel great about them. Like, and that's, I'm not trying to be negative. It's just, they've got to win a few more in a row. Do that and I'll start, I'll, I'll not go anywhere. The videos will still be here, but I'll start to buy in a little bit that maybe they can get this thing turned around. Um, tomorrow's a big game. If they can win this series, I talked about in the live stream, and I'll question it to you guys too. Has this team won one series that you went in thinking, man, this is, this is going to be a tough one. I don't think they're going to get it done, and they've won it. I don't think they have. Maybe the Astros series, but even then, the Astros were show, throwing out Brandon Belak and J.P. France, who were, France was making, I believe, his first start, and Belak just wasn't very good. Um, Christian Javier shut them down that first game. They won that series, and that was great, and that was a nice series win. Um, but I wasn't, like, overly surprised. Where is that big road series win? A Se couple series coming up here with the Giants and the Astros. Win me one of those series. This one against Tampa Bay. Win the series for me tomorrow. Not just for me, but show, show us. Win that series. Because other than that, I don't think they've had a series win that I've gone into and said, you know, I don't know about this series. And they come out and show me and win it. Maybe Miami a little bit. I wasn't super shocked at that one. But just that big statement series win. They haven't done it. They've got a chance. They can do it tomorrow if they can beat Tampa Bay and win this series. So hopefully they can finish it out, get a W, and go to San Francisco and do some damage. They have to. I, I said it back in the Angels series. This team has got to start winning games that we kind of don't expect them to. Or that they're underdogs. Maybe not like huge underdogs like Oakland or something. But they're minor underdogs. They've got to win some of these. You got Luis Castillo on the bump tomorrow. You've got to find a way to win it, win this series, and then get something going before the All-Star break. George Kirby was phenomenal today. Um, had a no-hitter through five and a third. It was broken up on kind of a bloop double. He did give up the two-run home run to Luke Rayleigh. But George Kirby was phenomenal. Two walks today, which actually is his season high in a game. Shows you how good he, he has been. Hopefully, he might be on his way to the All-Star game. We'll find out tomorrow. But a great outing from George Kirby um, nice job by Paul Seawald getting the final five outs. I may, may have taken Seawald out for that ninth inning just to kind of preserve him for tomorrow. And you don't have any days off coming up either. So, um, that would have been nice, nice to get as well. But, you know, I, I don't blame Scott. You, you want to get this win. Let's not mess around. Um, finish off the W. The offense was clutch. They hit with runners in scoring position today. For the first time in a while, JP had a big game. Jared Kelnick had a real nice game. Teo with the bases clearing, or almost bases clearing double. Julio had three hits. Um, I think everybody but Cal and Gino uh, really had a big game today. So even Ty added a hit. Cobby had a hit. Um, real nice to see the offense against good pitching. Uh, the last two games, they hit McClanahan well, and they hit Glass now well today. So that's good to see. Good to see them hitting some good pitching. The offense has been better the last two nights. I know last night they kind of faltered off, but to get those four runs off McClanahan is a good sign. And they did hit Glass now well, and they got to the Rays bullpen um, too. So a, a real nice all-round win. That was a really, really solid win. 
Hopefully, though, I, I can't jump in and get too excited, though. They've got to win a couple in a row. Because if they lose tomorrow, it just kind of undoes it. It just kind of does. A nice win, but start stringing some wins together. So just wanted to get on with that quick video. Remember to hit the like, subscribe button, and comment down below. Let's hope the Mariners can get going. Have a great night, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And as always, go Mariners. Peace.